Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday, February 28th, and on this gloomy, rainy day, we find ourselves back in the Garden State. I'm here in Parlin, New Jersey, standing outside of Paul's Toy Room. Let's head on in and check it out. Walking in here, this is how you are greeted. When you step into Paul's toy room, floor to ceiling, literally, floor to ceiling, plastic. Another place my jersey geek buddy is going to absolutely fall in love with instantly. It's everywhere. Look at this. I just walked in, as you guys can clearly see. I've done a 360. Packed with toys. That's the entrance. This is where we are. And let's begin. This is the first big aisle that we will be crawling through. And here's the first case. Got some modern stuff here, modern Joes. And I love this. Anyone that's been following my Instagram for a while, you know that I was a big Lego guy for a very long time. Not when I had the channel, but, and I will always consider myself a Lego guy. I just don't collect it anymore. But it's always cool to see really neat pieces like that. It's more modern stuff here. Some Mezco, this Conan is so good. Some Lego Star Wars. Some more modern stuff. D&D cartoon Hasbro. This is something you don't see very often, Air Raiders. Speaking of things you don't see every day, my goodness gracious, great balls of cocksaki, what the hell? What? What the hell, man? Complete two? I think Paul gave him some accessories there. Aragorn with the custom cape. Jeez, and these are, ugh, mint. We will be inquiring about that. Some D&D books. This is my favorite D&D book of all time. I can rotate this one hand. The Monstrous Manual. I grew up with version 2.0. I love this book. A whole stack of them here, the player's handbook too. It looks like some 1.0s in that stack. So I will be taking a look at this as well. Trying to gently get this back in here. How'd I do? Rate my one-handed skills on from one to 10. Air Raiders. Got a gray skull box here, just chilling. Hey buddy. Wow, it's a big case one. Hit you with some Knickerbocker, Lord of the Rings, and Air Raiders. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Got an Inspector Gadget back there. This is case two. Before we go down, why don't we go up? Sail barge. What looks to be a very minty techno drum. I have one with the box, Minty, but I will just take a look at that anyway. Motu, of course. The thermos there, sweet. Some turtles. The Pez. So Paul mentioned that he was just at Zolocon, so Ooh, that's Shredder. So, any sort of gaps that you guys see here, for instance, in this shelf, or anything that you see on the floor, if anything looks cluttered or a bit messy, 
That is atypical. He is just unloading from Zolocon, literally. I, when I showed up, he was, yeah, and still is, unloading things from his truck. We'll definitely be back here, it's safe to say anyway, to film a follow-up video. Some ghost busters there. Got a ghostling, Supernaturals, Knock Off Rambo. Now there was some Rambo stuff here that I did see, some Mighty Max right here. There was some Rambo stuff. Got some kind of Robin Hood too, down there. Some Rambo stuff here that I am very interested in. I'm hoping some of it's still here. We'll find out. Got a vintage Wind Raider there. Hasbro Conan, Skull Mountain, stuff everywhere. Let's turn around, shall we? Take a look at this. Little Sentinel diorama. It's pretty awesome. And then down here, of course, we've got some Motu Origins, mostly Motu, Motu Origins, and some filmation. I've actually never seen these in person yet. From the tell. And then you can see this whole section here. Warhammer miniatures. Get into that in a sec. And go up here a little bit. Rotate around. So you guys can see. New school blimp. Got the street dial from 2020 with a mix of stuff on it, mostly Marvel Legends, some DC McFarlane. Take a look at this case. I love this. A look at this Warhammer stuff. And most of this was painted by, just about all of it was painted by Paul. Super talented. I love that tower. Incredible stuff. Skywolf assault jet right there. I need him or it. I'm calling it a him. Got the assault vehicle there. I can't tell. I mean, it looks like it's in good shape. Some, I mean, you could probably get that out, whatever is in there with some canned air, but I want the, I want that assault jet. I wanted the copter too, but that sold. Thunder tank down here, Sands Treads. Got some paints. Little Citadel section. See some of the stuff for sale. Get a little closer here so you guys can see. Some of the pricing on these items. The toys D and I like that a lot. Had some of those when they first came out. Look at these dragon lance miniatures. These are the absolute best. Incredible. Some more Warhammer, a mix of fantasy and 40k. This looks like it's a case from Zolocon. Some Thundercats, Team and T, mostly. And moving on down. Got a little lit up carousel here. The 
Mm-hmm. Some transformers for everyone. Like that collector's case back there. And a little pan of the back of the store here, which we will walk through in a moment. Case of Joe's. Freshly unpacked from ZoloCon, right, Paul? And we've got some vintage Kenner Star Wars here. I think this just came in, this collection. Pretty minty lot. Cloud car pilot. Mint. Yeah, this is a, a nice lot. The only one I don't really see is Big Head Han. There's a Little Head Han. Got some rub on him, but. That's it. Case of Max. This is an impressive case. This display is insane. Get closer. Look at that. That is insane. Going all the way up, got some six scale up top. That's all packed. It'll be unpacked tomorrow. Unpacked tomorrow, there you go. You heard it from the man himself. Star Wars collector case here. Inside looks like it's in nice condition. Nice sticker. Name plates look good. And an assortment of stuff on the shelf there. Look at that behind the shelf. Before we get to that back case and the back room, I did want to, of course, show you guys the other side of the store here. Some of the definitely dinosaurs cavemen up here. Never see these in a box ever. Star Wars. Joe's huh? down there, naked. And then up the ladder. Some big gym stuff up there too, which is awesome. Raw's war ring. The tippy top. You guys can see what the store looks like from this angle. Packed with stuff. Moving on over. Into what clearly is the Nego case. I love that night. Reissue for that price for sure. As Migo does from time to time, all the time, I guess I should say. Oh, we got a Pez bin down there. 
been threatening to get into Pez stuff for a while, and I have not, and I really don't need to. Ronald McDonald Cups. Very nice. The wrestling section here. Remco. LJNs. Hasbro's. All in sort of condition. I will say, before we go too far down, these Hasbro's look, for the most part, the Warrior's got a nose rub. But uh, one half of the Rockers here, Shawn Michaels looks good. Bushwhackers look good. Jim the Anvil back there looks good. Jake looks pretty good. Got a Brutus there. Pink Pants, not the Zebra. Hacksaw looks pretty good. There's Marty. A couple of Pink Pants Brutus. Kenner Predator, Kenner Aliens. Skeleton Warrior sighting. We've got some knockoff wrestlers down here. Knockoff Hogan, it's hilarious. Some more Mighty Max. The shells look like they're in good condition. Interesting. My friend Snoopy, the box. Remco, Ron McDonald. Some micro machines, Star Trek. And that brings us back to what's behind, or in, I should say, that case behind the counter. Getting a little closer look here. The case behind the counter, some six scale there. Star Wars there, 12 inch, and a really cool Indiana Jones setup. And moving on down, the modern section, whole wall, TVC, and some black series, and some Hot Wheels down here. Some of the older DC Multiverse figures. And right behind that, a couple of Lucy bins. Some Marvel Legends. DC McFarlane. All the way up to the top. More Black Series, Marvel Legends. Some Toy Biz stuff mixed in there too. Galactus. Some of the reissued Beast Wars. Skeleton Warriors 2-pack is awesome. Transformers. Studio Series. Stuff that you're used to seeing in big box retail. And I know there's some Transformers up there too. We'll take a look at that on our way out. But um, this is walking into the back room here. Up the wall. It is everywhere. Here's a peek. 
once you step into the back room here. Now this stuff, Paul, is not for sale, right? This stuff in the case is not for sale. Okay. At the moment, it, it happens once in a while, like maybe every two or three years, I might. When you feel like it. Cooler and. Yeah. So this is essentially your personal collection, part of it. Ish. Oh, that is a mint Rambo. Doesn't have the dreaded New England clam chowder head either. That is mint. I'm glad I don't have shoulder problems because there's stuff that is touching or literally on the ceiling. Petty Rockspin that I'm trying to film for you guys. Moving over to this case. Blue Thunder is sweet. So this stuff is not for sale at the moment. Paul actually painted custom painted that Calibos to make it more movie accurate and I'd say he successfully did so. Clash of the Titans really nicely displayed. That Pegasus is mint. Wow. You never ever ever see it that clean. Ever. Crack in here. Sorry for the glare. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Secret Wars down there. Classic. Gotta have the vintage gumball machine. Love that. Absolutely love that. Horseman made it into this case. So you have this horseman there. Pretty sweet. Another pegboard here of stuff. My man Bruce, my main man Bruce. Some classified up top, Studio Series Transformers. And I don't believe we looked at this case yet. More Star Wars, vintage Star Wars, mostly. Yeah, all that'll be going back in. Maybe tonight, maybe. And all the new stuff that came in. And that we just looked at, yeah. Here's the Joe case, which is getting repopulated as we speak. As you can see, all that stuff right there. There it is, so that's, there are plenty of Joes here, or will be, once again. And same with Kenner Star Wars, so when you come into the store, that's what you could expect. Gonna work our way up top here. you guys a pan of the room from the back of the store. And that, folks, is going to do it for Paul's Toy Room. I know I promised you guys the top of the Transformers case, so there you go. 
No plastic inserts on the Dinobot sludge or the hotspot, right, no. Paul? No. Cool. Or the or shrapnel. Another quick look at the uh, Transformers case here. And that'll do it. And that'll be packed. I have about 200 figures I have to go in there. Excellent. Any uh, any parting words for the YouTube uh, universe? The best toys ever made make the best memories. There you go. That's going to do it, folks, for Paul's Toy Room. I hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough. The name of this store aptly describes exactly what it is and how it feels as you're walking into it. And hopefully you guys felt that during the walkthrough. It really did feel like I was picking out toys from someone's toy room to buy, which is a super cool experience. That back room of his, which Paul considers his museum, where 95% of the items are not for sale, listening to his plans for the future as to what he wants to do to that room, I'm excited to see what, what winds up happening to it. He's a very passionate collector, super talented guy, as you saw. Just about all of those miniatures were painted by Paul. I told him he needs to get into Mythic Legions customizing. Great guy. Made a new friend. That's what the hobby's all about. I wound up picking up a lot of vintage TMNT figures. All four turtles and Bebop and Rocksteady. All soft heads. All with their Mint Loose Complete with their weapons and accessories. I have now doubles of... Most of those, I didn't have all of the turtles in soft head form. Now I do. I'm like hoarding Bebops. I have like four or five Bebops after the first two. So, you know, I got the first one. Okay, great. However long ago, though, years ago. Got a second one a couple of years ago down at Red Genesis. And I was like, okay, great. I'm going to use that for, you know, the Psycho cycle. These other ones that I keep picking up, I think I'm just deranged. I don't know why I keep picking up soft head bebops but i'm doing that um couldn't really tell you why i really like that that figure design uh, clearly but uh so we picked up a lot of vintage tmnt that was 190 and we picked up the skywolf assault jet for 100 i traded a couple of items in walked away with some cash super fair deal super fair guy as you can see, the store has some really cool items in it. Again, the things that you saw on the floor, some of the shelves that Paul was actually repopulating as I walked through, the Joe case, the Kenner Star Wars case, that stuff will be fully packed and usually is fully packed. But as mentioned, he just he literally just got back from Zolocon, which was this past weekend. So he was still unpacking everything, so the store wasn't exactly how he wanted it, but he was gracious enough to let me film. And we are going to definitely go back to hang out there and more than likely film again a very clean walkthrough of that place and film all the other shenanigans that ensue there. It sounds like a, a great time and a, a local hangout spot for like-minded, crazy individuals like us. So I highly recommend Paul's Toy Room if you're in or around Central Jersey. I will put a link to Paul's Instagram page, the store page in the description of this video below, along with the store details, location details. You guys should definitely pay Paul a visit. Great guy, new friend, can't beat that. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Catch you on the next video. Peace.